The next uh, document we are going to hand it over is performance contracting 2019-2020, which the PS is going to help you implement. Yes. And the final document is the National Youth Empowerment Strategy 2016-2021. Therefore, we realize we are very structured, very deliberate, mm -hmm. very targeted on what we want to do, and they are all contained in this document, uh, CS Michelle. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Great. We believe that uh, with the youth, the key thing that uh, we need to also provide other than inclusion is coordination. Youth being more than 60% of the country means that they are everywhere. We are you know, going to work with all the different institutions, whether it is private sector, whether it's the religious institutions, whether it's uh, NGOs, whichever groups, so as to ensure we're being able to provide youth with the access and inclusivity that they need. The youth are innovative. They have got many uh, different ideas. And as we've been working even in the ICT sector in ensuring we harness the innovations, provide funding and grants that are going to be required, with the combined activities of uh, ICT and youth, we will uh, work very closely to ensure funds are available, grants are available, so that they can uh, be used to grow the many businesses and opportunities that we are already seeing going on uh, in the country. Over 60% of our population is below 35. Therefore, our youth will be misused by politicians if they don't have a voice. And what makes the youth not have a voice is sometimes because they are not economically empowered. So any politician who gives them something like 200 shillings, mm -hmm. they will tend to sing their song. I think as I hand over this State Department of the Youth uh, to ICT Minister, I would really urge that the, the policy, National Youth Poli Development Policy, is very clear how the youth are not going to be used by politicians by being empowered to be able to analyze and understand what kind of leaders they would want from the politician so that they don't kind of uh, uh, entice them with the money and then end up uh, voting the wrong people. In fact, you, you have the power to be able to change the politics of this country so that we have got good leaders who are politicians who can be able to develop this country socioeconomically so that also youth have got jobs, youth have got uh, income, so that they are not easily bought by politicians.